hello everyone welcome back to continental food and cake tv if today is your first time here you are highly highly welcome my name is joy joy in today's video i'm going to show you how to pound panda the yam how to make panda the yam from scratch peeling the yam boiling it step by step i'm going to take you step by step on how to make the original panda the yam so <laughs> So if you're interested in learning how to pan the yam in the mortar, please keep watching. If you're new here, you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video like this, you're not going to miss out. It's me again, Joy Joy Beauty, your village girl that lives in UK. <laughs> Smash that button, subscribe. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family, share your social media, WhatsApp, Thank you as you do so. Let's get started. So this is yam. This is what yam looks like. This is the full yam, but I'm going to be using this one to make the pandad yam because this one has been cut already. So this is one I'm going to use. I'll keep this one aside, but I'm just showing you guys what the full yam looks like. And I'm going to peel the skin of this one off. So that's yam. After cutting the yam into holdable size, next I'm going to trim off the end which is dry. Then I'm going to hold on to the yam and peel off the skin. This technique is good for somebody who is used to peeling yam like this this is how i peel my yam but i'm also going to show you another way to peel off the skin of the yam the second way to peel off the skin of the yam is to place the yam in the work table hold it firmly with your four fingers and your thumb with the other hand you want to peel off the skin of the yam I believe that this way is easier and safer for somebody who is peeling the yam first time. So if you're a first timer, you want to try this method or this way and you peel the yam very, very easy. Just watch the video, you understand it better. One tip when peeling off the skin of the yam, please avoid the yam or the skin from touching your body because it's very, very itchy. I have the pots that I'm going to use to cook the yam which I've added some water to help the yam cook. Then I have the yam which I've washed. I'm going to cut the yam into medium sizes. This is going to help the yam cook faster. The size of the yam determines how many minutes the yam is going to cook or how long the yam is going to cook. And I'm cutting the yam with my hands. I'm cutting it in my hands, which is also not the best way. I'm still going to show you the safer way. Please <laughs> don't do this if you're scared of knife. Second way to cut your yam, which I feel is the safest if you're a beginner, if you're a first timer, you want to place your yam in a chopping board and cut into medium sizes. cutting the yam I place in a high heat then I'm going to cover the pot with the lid and allow the yam to cook in a high heat for 20 to 25 minutes until the yam is soft so the yam has been cooking and it's cooked it's soft look at that you want to cook the yam until it's soft like salt so next I'm going to pan the yam in the mortar or call odo so to pan pan the yam, this is the tools. This is called mortar or called odo. And this is the hand of the odo. I've washed it, it's clean. Next, I'm going to add the yam there, put the yam there and start panning. But this is called odo or called mortar. <laughs> so this is the yam. Boiled, soft. I'm going to transfer it here. So that's the yam. I've 
take out the water. I'm going to use the water later, but for now. So this is the water that comes out of the yam. I'm going to use it also, but I'll keep it aside for later use. So this is the yam in the mortar yam, hot yam. Next, I'm going to pan the yam. And to pan the yam, I'm going to be using a cold oil. That is the hand of the mortar. They have the long one, they have the short one. This is the short one. So I'm going to start pounding. So basically, I'm pounding the yam, and I have to pound it until. The, there's no lumps and the yam is smooth. It takes between 20 to 25 minutes. This requires energy. Like if you don't have energy, I don't think you'll be able to pan the yam because you need muscle <laughs> to pan the yam. <laughs> but I like doing this to be honest. Just remind me of the village life. So pan pan. So at this point, I'm going to be adding some of the water that came out from the yam. Add a little bit and mix. Point, I'm going to add more water just to loosen the consistency because you don't want it too hard, too soft, just in the middle. So I'm going to add some of the water. I'm going to save the water from the yam because this is the, the time you need it. So I'm mixing the water with the pan of yam. Because as soon as you add the water, you don't just want to pan straight away. Because if you pan straight away, the water is just going to splash on you. You don't want that. So as soon as you add the water, you just do this you mix, to mix it. In Ebola, we we'll call it tea royal rock or rockata before that was I hope I'm right because my ego is not good. <laughs> so after mixing the water with the yam, making sure that it's well mixed, then you can now go ahead and start panning. Guys, did you see this one that yam? Hey! Oh, Kakana, but Jasula, so. Hey! And that yam. <laughs> what time you can only find that yam if you live in UK? You can't. <laughs> This is the 
pounded yam i still want it a bit softer so to achieve that softness that i want i'm also going to add more water this water is from the yam guys you don't want to throw the water away then i'm going to mix it together I'm pounding is a lot like <laughs> so this will serve about four to five hungry people so after pounding the yam I'm going to wrap them. I have this bag like this. Let me show you how we do it. You just take this amount that will be okay for one person. At least this should be okay for one person. It's too much. Let me reduce it. And you do like this. So you see that this is too much. I have to reduce it. It's too much. <laughs> so you wrap, wrap. You see that? So you keep it, and I'm going to wrap all of them like this. Then you can cover it with a a cloth, or you cover it with a foil paper to keep it warm. So I'm going to keep that aside. It's <laughs> how to pan and the yam. In the mortar, that is raw pandediam, original pandediam, organic pandediam. <laughs> this is how to find pandediam, and this reminds me so much of back home, and I enjoy doing this. I love doing this. I pan pandediam like once in two months or once in three months, and I have fun. And you can see, organic, like raw, not the official one. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope after watching this video, you've been encouraged to go out there, buy your mortar, and start pounding your yam. It doesn't matter whether you live in UK, Canada, US, you can still eat your raw pounded yam, original pounded yam. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe. Press that button where you say subscribe. Also turn your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you're not going to miss out. Do not forget to leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Do you miss raw pandediam? Have you pan pandediam before since you live abroad? Or yeah, I know people back home still pan pandediam, but some of us have decided to leave our local way of panning pandediam and we're eating the artificial one. I do eat the artificial one as well, but sometimes once in a while you want to pan the real pandediam. And bet me, if you're a woman out there, you want to lose weight. This is a very good way to lose weight. <laughs> By the time you pan the pandediam, you've lost a lot of calories. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Leave your comment, like, share this video with any of your friends and family, your social media. I love you all and I will see you in another one. Bye-bye.